Hi, I'm Sonia and to be impressed, this is a collective reading. Tarot reading, don't try and force a crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take or resonate to leave the rest for someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Hopefully you're having a great week. It is Wednesday here. And let's see what we have for you for this week. This is a collective reading for Libra. Welcome Libra. Let's see. What do we have? We have a Divine Masculine. This is somebody who is the most beautiful king in the deck. Somebody who is actually very stable. Or it could be a father energy. This is Order, Divine Masculine. And also this king embodies all the kings of the deck. So maybe it's that you're becoming very stable. Maybe you're kind of embracing your masculine energy. Oh, it looks like there's somebody actually that wants to take a leap of faith towards you. They could be a masculine, you could be a feminine. And they are ready to take their leap of faith. This is somebody who could be obsessed, obsessed with you. Or they could have Capricorn in their chart. Or it could be that they're obsessive. Maybe they're a little bit possessive. They have some sort of addiction to you, maybe. This is codependency. This is actually someone here who's really kind of watching you and they think that you're theirs. But what's crossing this is that you're very intuitive. So you can smell a rat a million miles away. This is actually very... You have some very powerful gifts, it looks like. This could be that you are... Shining, so I can see this card shining. It could be that you're intuitive, you're very clairvoyant, and you know, maybe you do tarot readings or some sort of thing like that. But also, you notice that there's some sort of some disappointment. This person is crying over spilt milk. This could be you that's crying over spilt milk, maybe because you're sensing that things aren't quite right. But try not to focus on the lack because you have two cups there in reserve. This is also a lover situation. Could be a love-hate situation. You could have choices in love. So you need to choose wisely. This also can be uh, Gemini energy. This is the twins here. But it looks like you need to choose wisely. Distant past we had Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is masculine energy. Somebody who could, be, could have been quite emotional. Um, someone who's in their emotions... But also, it's like the emotional one minute and then they're cold as ice the next. They can be cutting as well as, like, cold. You could have been dealing with two masculine energies. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. This could be that you, one, you are one of these. Um, water sign or an air sign. But we have happily ever after. So this is actually somebody possibly that you've been dealing with who was a little bit sort of distant one minute and then, like, friendly the next Emotionally stable than then cold as ice. But recent past, we have the sort of truth. Maybe you're seeing the truth of things and you're cutting out what is not serving you. Maybe you need to speak the truth or somebody wants to speak the truth. You've actually got so many options you don't know what to do. You're in a dream world down there. You need to wake up and smell the roses. What do you really want? Because you need to cut out whatever is not serving you because you've got so many options you don't know which way to go. But also that you're very independent. This is independent energy. So this is that you've tamed the beast within, like you've tamed the bird in your hand. And you're actually doing very well on your own. So your thoughts are that you're getting more balanced. This is Sagittarius energy. This, you're getting balanced up to some situation where there's stuff that's been hidden from you. That's like illusions. Possibly to do with wishy-washy, Mr. Wishy-washy, Mrs. Wishy-washy. Somebody who couldn't make up their mind. Someone that would hide, hide a lot of different secrets and all that. But they come, you're becoming more balanced after this situation. But you're actually working very hard. You planted the seeds and you're actually starting to see things grow. But it looks like after this wishy-washy hiding stuff, you're actually becoming more balanced. So your future is that you're wanting equal give and take. So it looks like somebody... Possibly wasn't given equally. So this is called an ending, so it's a new beginning. This is Scorpio energy. It's a transformation. It's that you're actually ready for a new beginning. Sometimes the door closes for another to open. And you're attracting in your soulmate. This is a past life connection. 
somebody possibly that you've known from the past could be coming in to give equally. They could be a Scorpio or there's just an ending. So you're fearing, you've got fears about heavily ever after. For some reason you don't believe that it's true. But we have two, this is 10, 10. So there's fears about whether or not this is possible to have you happily ever after, be financially stable. This is amazing wealth here. This is also go with it and having some healing. So you're actually having time out to heal. Maybe you're starting to see the truth of things after this. But it's like you've got fears that this is not real. This is not, you know, not possible to have happily ever after. You've got fears about, you know, commitment or something. Fears about whether it's a daydream and, a, and not even real. So other people see that you're healing. You're taking time out to heal. You're withdrawing. You're just kind of resting a lot. We're also resting from wounding. So you're wounded. So it's like you're actually trying to wound from some sort of heal, some sort of toxic energy. It looks like you're re you're really resting in recovery, but you're also manifesting something new. So you're a little bit wounded. You're a little bit sort of needing time out to heal, but you're actually manifesting something new. So your hopes are that you can have some celebrations. You could have been dealing with a third party. This could have been somebody who had other things that were getting in the way and they could not commit to you. So this is actually anything that could be in the way. Could be, you know, family, friends, puppy dogs, tails and snails. So there's um, a soulmate. It's a soulmate that you've had some sort of painful ending, looks like some sort of heartbreak and you're actually moving into calmer waters now. So you're actually wanting to manifest some sort of, you're hoping for celebrations, but you've still got heartbreak to deal with. But it looks like you're getting to a bridge over troubled waters, so things are actually starting to become more balanced for you, but you're still healing from some heartbreak. The outcome is somebody who's watching. Libra Gemini Aquarius, there could be someone younger. They are watching that you're a very good hard worker. They see how hard you work. They're admiring what you do, but they could be just watching from wherever they are. This could be someone you've had a painful ending with. This could be we have a counterpart match. This could have been this could be someone is watching you going for this heart ache and this heartbreak. They see that you're a hard worker. They're watching what you're doing. They're watching everything you're doing, you know, your hard work and everything. They're admiring it. And they see you as their equal counterpart match. This is coming into union with your divine counterpart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, two feminine and masculine. So you could be coming into union with your... Someone who's watching you. Someone who has feelings for you. And somebody that is emotionally stable. This could be somebody who's watching you go through this painful ending... They're watching you working very hard and they're very proud. They would like to come in and work with you possibly. They are watching everything you're doing. They could be quite emotionally stable and very loving. So let's see what else we need to know about this cut match. What are these? This could be this masculine that we're dealing with in the beginning. This masculine here. This Aries energy. But let's see what else do we need to know. A whole lot of noise out there with these cats. Wish performance. Someone's coming in to offer you a love offer. This could be a starting off as a friendship, but it could be messages of love, or it could be, you know, emails and all sorts of messages here of love, and it's wish performance. So your wish is coming true here, and it's a counterpart match. So very cool. Very happy for you. Bye, Libra.